Rihanna. So today I filmed this makeup tutorial using all primer. I've done my first impressions as well. I also done a more wearable makeup look, so like a beach to bar look. So if you guys want to see how I created it, please keep watching. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I do have my eyebrows on already because I did pop to the store earlier. <laughs> I got some Primark makeup. I was so excited to try some of these bits out. But I couldn't find an eyebrow pencil. I don't know if Primark does eyebrow pencils, but I couldn't find them. But I've got like foundations in here. I've got highlighters, bronzers, a lip kit and all that good stuff. So let's try this out. Mm. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to be trying the My Perfect Colour BB Cream. It's a complexion perfecting light to medium coverage dewy finish SPF 35 and it was £4, which is so good. If you guys don't know, Primark is a chain that's around mainly Europe and I think there's some stores dotting around in the US as well. I'll leave the link down below to see if you can find like a store locator. I'm using the shade Toffee. There was quite a big colour range actually when I was looking at this, but this is really nice because it was like a yellow undertone. I am going to use like a beauty blender with this because that's how I would try all my foundations. I get so many people telling me to try more affordable makeup on my channel because I know I always go for like the more high-end stuff. So let me know down below if you want me to film more like drugstore videos or more affordable videos and if you see a comment give it loads of likes and loads of thumbs up because then I'll know that's what you guys want to see because I'm always looking for video ideas and I can't freaking take off the little foil on this thing. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Oh. Mm, the texture is really nice and quite creamy. I thought it would be a bit more liquidy, but I actually like it when it's like this kind of texture because it normally gives more coverage. I'm just going to take some on the tip of my beauty blender. So I'm going to do like one cheek so you guys can see the difference. I haven't done a tutorial actually, starting off from my base in ages, guys, for so long. Do you know what this foundation actually looks like? How Armani Luminous Silk looks out on me? I don't know. Would this be a dupe or oh, potential dupe? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it's definitely like a, a light to medium coverage. I'm going to see if I can lay it up a bit more so I can get like a full coverage. So that was like half of my face, but you can still see I've got like pigmentation and stuff from where I picked my spot. So I'm going to put a bit more because I want full coverage. I love full coverage foundations. So I wanted to do more like a beachy look because it's summer now. I'm guessing you guys are booking loads of holidays. And maybe we do like a light beat and then I'll show you how you would change it into a more like evening look. You know, going to the bar, shaking your groove thing. Normally for like evening makeup, you want a bit more makeup because the light is not as hard so you can actually wear a bit more and because at night time you tend to be taking a lot more photos and stuff you want your makeup to pop so yeah i think that'd be a good idea i really like this one look how glowy it makes my skin with this i've got my coverage all over and then what i like to do is just on the areas where i want to give more coverage i just dab and i don't dab it too much where it basically blends it out i almost leave it to like thicken up a little bit so i normally always need more on my chin and around my nose so i always get red around there Okay, so I just finished putting on the foundation and I've done about like two layers on the certain areas where I want a bit more coverage I just laid up there a bit more but it's actually a really really nice finish it doesn't feel like too sticky or anything because normally with me I have really oily skin and I can kind of feel when something's a bit too oily it's going to like slide off but it seems to set really well and quite a good colour match so if you're like an NC30 or 35 from MAC I think Toffee is quite a good colour I did buy a powder but before I powder I saw this in the store and it's brand new it's the bronze me up highlight and contour face palette and it was six pounds the packaging is really nice and slim and inside it comes with like two highlighters it comes with a kind of like a yellow setting powder and a more bronzy kind of color which is actually really really nice and it also comes with two cream products so i'm really excited to try this out actually i've only tried the ps news collection before and that was really really nice so i feel like primer is like stepping up their game so i'm just going to use a little small a domed brush and I'm going to pick up this contour shade right here I'm just going to put this around the forehead wherever you guys normally like to contour with it's a little bit lighter than the colour that I would normally use but it's actually blending in super well it's just like super creamy so I'm just dabbing it on around the perimeter where I want to look a bit more bronze and a bit on my nose I just do it lightly around my nose because I feel like sometimes I contour my nose too much and it's a bit too harsh and then actually I wanted to show you guys this product I also picked out because I couldn't decide what contour product I wanted to use so I also picked up this two pound bronze contour and shape contour stick as well and it looks like this so it's a little bit deeper because i didn't know this shade would match me or not if you wanted something a bit deeper maybe try the stick so as you guys can see the contour stick is a bit darker and i'm just going to use this just 
where the hollows on my cheeks are so i want to deepen it just here so a little bit and then i'm going to put a little bit of my forehead at the tippy tippy top so it's like a nice ombre kind of finish and then i should use that brush that i used earlier and just blend that all in oh my god that blended so well without taking off the foundation i love bronzing my forehead so much it's the only thing that makes me look like i'm more tanned and i do it with Every single makeup look that I do, I always make my forehead a lot darker because it just makes your forehead look a bit slimmer, not as wide. I'm also going to try some of this light cream highlighter just with my beauty blender and I'm just going to use this right on the inner corners just to brighten up just here and a little bit of my chin. Um, and I'm just going to flip it around and use the rest of the foundation to blend it in as well. So while me and Grant were shopping in Primark, it was so funny because he was like, oh my god, there's like a banana powder here. So he knows that like, there's a banana powder and I was like, this is literally like a dupe. I don't know if you guys remember, but way back in the days, Kim K posted like a video of her baking and it was this like yellow powder. And I think it was like the Ben I banana powder, but that literally blew up and you couldn't find it anywhere. And Primark have done a little dupe of it in the exact same kind of packaging and everything. And it says banana setting powder um, and it was four pounds so yeah let's try it out powders i am actually very picky about because i have such oily skin i count on my powder to like map me down where i want it to be okay so the powder is just in my little cap here and i'm just going to use like a little sponge it's not a sponge what is this freaking called a powder puff god damn it twee i'm just gonna like bake underneath my eyes a bit so i generally like powders that kind of smooth out my pores because i have quite large pores here so any powder that smooths out and doesn't like accentuate it is like a winner for me but normally kind of like banana powders what these do is that they brighten up underneath your eyes and especially loose powders like this you can generally like set your makeup really really well i've heard quite good reviews about this banana powder so i don't know if you guys can see but it's smoothed out this totally it's like so soft underneath here so the foundation itself is a little bit tacky so i think if you've got dry skin you'd actually quite like it so it gives more hydration to the skin and for daytime what i like to do is i just powder in the center so between your eyebrows here and then just on my chin so mainly like in the middle bit and then i'll leave the rest of it to look really really glowy and for daytime i don't tend to wear like much eye makeup okay i'm really happy with that yes Woo! okay so next up i'm going to use the bronze vacay vibes complete face palette and this is six pounds for all of this guys all of this does this not remind you of the huda beauty highlighting palette just saying or actually also the Anastasia Beverly Hills as well this is really cool because you've got two highlighters you've got a contour and then you've got a blusher here as well this is like my favorite type of blush anything like a bit peachy like this and I like to do a little bit of blush for daytime blusher makes your skin look super nice and rosy then I'm just going to pick up this highlighter here this is like a goldy kind of highlight so this bit of my face isn't set with the powder and that's how I always make my highlighter pop. So I don't know if you can see that but goddamn it's freaking golden beads. I like my highlight to pop. This is how you do like the kind of dewy makeup look where you just kind of pop your highlighter. This will also make such a nice eyeshadow colour as well. And then what I also do is I put some on my forehead. So this is how you make your skin look super glow. And then my chin. I've been highlighting my chin recently guys. I've never used to do it before because I always like my face to look matte. But in photos and in real life it just makes your skin look all over really nice and glowy. But because I am oily I want the glow to be in certain areas and then matte in the certain areas. Just put down at the bridge of my nose if that isn't glowing i don't know what is guys and then i just like to put a little bit under my eyebrows just here so if we take any photos it's like whoop. i love the fact that kind of brands are picking up on the highlighter trend like there's quite a lot of affordable highlighters out there now as well which is super exciting i'm actually going to finish off the rest of my makeup with this palette because i did buy a few more bits but i thought it'll be quite nice to show you like a complete makeup look with this palette so in this palette it comes with four different eyeshadows and four different nude lipsticks so i'm going to go in with this goldy kind of shade here oh it's really smooth well i was not expecting that i've got bit guys I don't know if you guys can see, but my hands are so swollen. This is the bronze eyeshadow. So reflective, it's insane. So during the daytime, you don't want to spend too long on your makeup look because you just want to hit the beach. So what I normally tend to do is grab anything a bit more bronzy with a flat shader brush. And you can do this with matte as well. I tend to kind of like a bit more of like a bronzy glow on my eyes. So I literally wipe this like, all over my eyes. And because it's 
kind of like shiny it kind of like reflects the light so it gives your eyes a bit more depth as well so i'm going to pick up a synthetic brush and i'm just going to blend that out and then literally it's like super quick super bronzy and oh my god if you have like light colored eyes like bronzy colors like this goes with any eye color but if you have like a blue or like a green eye this kind of shade here will make your eyes pop and then I just put some underneath as well, just so it ties in. But I generally like a light sweep. I either do this technique with mattes or I do it with shimmers. So if you want something a bit more smoky, then go for more of a matte colour. But because I'm doing more of like a glowy makeup look, I wanted to do a bit more shimmer on the eyes. And I tend to pick something a bit more bronze like this rather than putting gold all over my eyes. Because I feel like this will help frame your eyes a bit more and give you a bit more depth on your eyes. And trust me guys, when you go outside on this light and you take photos, like looking down your skin just looks super glowy and your eyes are glossy it's great and then next while i'm here i'm just gonna dab a bit of this color on my lips i might go for this nudie shade right here with palettes like this you do have to be careful though because you don't want to put the eyeshadow inside of the lip product especially like if you put like a dark color in there when you put it on your lips you get like a dark sphere so just be careful when you're tapping your brush don't tap it on top of the creamy products it smells like coconuts. Oh, this is quite nice because it's quite matte. Normally when you get these kind of uh, lip products, they normally tend to always be very glossy, but it's quite nice and matte. It feels really nice on the lips as well. It feels quite creamy, but doesn't feel like it's going to like slide off my lips. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then just put on some mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just applied it on my mascara and this is what I would wear literally if I was going to go on a holiday to the beach and still look kind of put together to take photos. Um, and normally I just wear like sunglasses as well. And then when you turn your face, towards the sun girl your highlight is popping okay so now i'm going to show you how i would turn this in to a nighttime look like to go to any bars you go to a party you go for dinner and really really simple that hasn't take it all off as well because i've been to many events guys where i literally only have like an hour to get ready including having a shower and all of that and deciding what to wear so literally i'm going to show you a quick way to kind of turn this into a nighttime look really really quickly and still look really nice and glam Okay, so now to change everything up, I'm going to go in with this bronzer. It's the Bronze Queen Matte Bronzer, and it's in the shade Sunrise, and it's £2. So there's two different shades. I picked up the Sunrise one and the Sunset one. Sunset is a little bit deeper, and it's a bit more cool toned, whereas Sunrise is a bit warmer. So I'm going to go for the one that's a bit warmer, because I want my skin to look as tan but as natural as possible when you go for something a bit deeper you're more like contouring whereas i want to bronze the difference is contour kind of gives your face more shadows and bronzing just kind of like it does give it shadows as well but it's more about adding warmth to your skin I tend to want to get like a more bigger brush so more fluffy brush and then what i do is i literally go around my forehead to make everything look tanned and then i almost like bring it down here as well so it's not just like a semi-circle of bronzer you know and then i also go on top of my cheekbones as well and i make all of this really really nice and tan i also put some along my jawline as well and this kind of like slims down your jaw during the daytime i don't like to do this because sometimes you can kind of see like a harsh line a little bit but for nighttime you kind of can get away with it because normally the lighting is a bit darker okay and then also i'm going to just contour a little bit on my nose sort of grab a smaller brush with the same bronzing powder i'm gonna go along this little bit here and also if you do get oily like me i like to kind of powder my skin a little bit more so i'm just going to grab a bit more of that powder and then i'm going to powder the rest of my face especially underneath my eyes here because i want this bit to be really bright in photos and this bit here i don't know why i get so oily here like a lot of the sides of my nose i kind of like to leave the powder there a little bit like a thicker layer almost like baking and then also what i like to do at night time is i just put a bit of powder along this bit so it kind of helps carve out my cheekbones so my cheekbones look a bit sharper and then your face can look a bit slimmer as well tweeze tips guys <laughs> The main thing that's going to switch everything up and turn it into nighttime is your eyes. So I'm going to go in with the bronze shade and shimmer eyeshadow palette. And this was £4. And I think this is a really, really cute eyeshadow palette, especially for primer. It's very on trend. It's got your warm tones in there for £4. And this shade is literally calling my name. Oh, can you guys see this? okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like more of a smoky eye if you haven't got time to take off all your eye makeup then what i do is i work on top of it and you want to kind of go for more matte shades especially for nighttime because that's what's going to give you more depth in photos so i'm going to use like a little buffing brush and i'm just going to go in with 
this one right here and this is a really really warm brown it's very similar to swiss chocolate by mac which i used to wear all the time when i used to work there what i want to do is i'm just going to focus on the crease and just smoke out this outer corner bit oh my god it's so pigmented so make sure you tap off the excess because otherwise you're going to get a lot of fallout and i kind of like to bring it like halfway like a semi-circle so what i'm doing i'm just slowly fading this out here and i'm just kind of deepening up the crease you want to make sure you pick a brush that's a bit more like tapered like this one and then you literally just buff this out a bit higher and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this color right underneath my lash line as well to really smoke this bad boy up you guys can see how smoky that looks and just a difference between this one and this one i feel like this kind of like frames my eye and makes it look a bit more like edgy and then i'm going to put an eyeliner as well so i'm going to quickly do this other eye and then i'll show you how i do the eyeliner okay so just on my other eye and just before i put on my eyeliner i am gonna go in with this light golden shade here and i'm gonna put it on my inner corners i love it when i have a bright inner corner and then i'm just gonna fade this in i think it actually works better with my fingers it kind of like pushes the pigment on a bit more just kind of like to brighten up this gold to make it pop even more okay so next i'm gonna pick up my eyeliner that i bought today and this is the liquid liner the black one i think they have reformulated it or they changed the brush of it because when i was in the store i looked at the test and i was like oh no they changed the nib of it before it was like a brush but i think people find the brush really hard to use so they moved it into a more like, like a felt tip okay so i just had a swatch of the eyeliner for you just to show you how black this eyeliner is it's so dark they did change the nib of it it's a, like a longer kind of felt tip now so i literally just do like a nice long wing and then i go back on myself and then i just kind of join up here at halfway so that it's thicker right on the outer corner i like quite a thick wing so obviously do your wing however comfortable you feel and i just join it up and then i kind of go in and i just kind of do like little dabs and i hold it kind of like sideways rather than hold it in like this i go sideways and i just literally dab 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 along the lash line and i go in this way and i dab 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 it's actually really easy with this new applicator i love how matte and black this eyeliner is to do the other eye i'm gonna put in some lashes and then we're back and we'll do the lips <laughs> okay so now that i got my lashes on my eyes are done oh i love this color so much that brown eyeshadow has impressed me so goddamn much when i was blending it i was like freaking out i don't even need to put like black or anything because it's literally just one color but it looks like I use like two or three different colours because look how dark this is and when you blend it out it goes to a really nice warm orangey shade so yeah really love that I'm just going to take off my lip because I want to go a bit darker and I'm just going to blend that out with Beauty Blender and then on my lips I'm going to use a Get Lippy Kit I really like this colour, it's called Peanut Butter I don't know if I've used this on my channel before but it looks really really cute they have quite a few different shades so it comes with a lip liner and then a lip gloss as well so I'm just going to start off with the lip liner I'm just going to fill in my whole lip liner with this the lip liner is so creamy as well, it's not dry whatsoever, it just glides on my lip. Do you hear what I even said? Okay, so I'm literally working this all over around my lip line and then I'm just going to fill it all in. It's like a really nice, like, creamy, warm, like, nude. This is how I like my nude. That feels really nice. Really not sticky or... You know, sometimes I feel like with these lip liners that are not kind of, like, wooden based, I feel it's quite tacky, but this you can just wear as, like, a normal lipstick. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the High Shine Lip Gloss in Peanut Butter, with matching gloss to it all over the lips oh god this color is so pretty the gloss is a little bit darker but than the lip liner but i quite like it because it kind of gives my lips a bit more depth oh my god i love that lip so much and then at night time this is like one of my staples to do but i always bronze and glow my chest so i found this in a store that looks quite cool it's the bronze dewy glow bronzing face and body butter it's in the shade golden and it was £2.50 so i thought i'd pick it up it's like a cream product here and it's really really smooth i tried out in the store and it just gives you like a really nice glow just like to your chest it's quite creamy so i don't know if i'd use it on the face because i have really oily skin but if you have dry skin it will look really nice probably as a highlighter so i'm just going to use a big like buffing brush a synthetic brush so i'm just going to wet this in and then i just like to like put stuff like this down my neck mmm this smells like freaking holiday it smells like coconuts again so what this product kind of does is just give you more of like a glow to your 
neck because it has like shimmer bits in there and it also gives you some colour as well. All the time people always complain that my foundation is too dark for me so you always want to blend it down your neck. Especially on your shoulders as well. And obviously depending on what your top is or what your dress is you bring it all down as well. And then on top of that I'm just going to grab the highlighter palette again. I'm just going to use this shade that we used earlier on our cheek. Just grab that and I'll just add a bit more. Just on the highest points. And honestly if you're taking photos in the evening especially when you're holiday you want your skin to as glowy and healthy as possible and I would also do this on my legs as well and can you guys see that it just kind of like pats the shoulders a bit more you know it makes your skin look like so smooth okay guys so that's it for this final makeup beach to bar look if you guys liked how it turned out please let me know down below if you want me to film more videos like this where I test out like a full face of one makeup brand please let me know thank you so much to Primark for working with me on this video I loved how this makeup look turned out I was so impressed with the pigment if you guys haven't checked out the primark makeup yet please go into store and try it out especially the foundation the powder is definitely a hit for four pounds like what the hell and also that eyeshadow palette i think you guys will absolutely love this like the pigment is insane so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe before you leave also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x Tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers Oh my god, I can't take out the freaking foil on this. My nails are too long. I dropped my beauty blender on the floor, guys. <laughs> Five second roll. Almost like baking. Oh shit, it's fine. So I just had a... Ah! I dropped it. Ah! I dropped my mirror. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs>